Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl and The Flash. So, I wanted to break down some stuff that has been going around my mind for the last few days since we got the official announcement that Supergirl is ending after Season 6. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any Supergirl videos for its final season, or The Flash for Season 7. So... Yeah, today we're going to be talking about Supergirl and when it's premiering and when it's set to premiere. Will Comic Con happen and how will the schedule go down for Supergirl and how long will it last for? Okay, so let's talk about Supergirl first. So I wanted to talk about this because it's been going through my mind. We know Supergirl is not going to be premiering season 6, aka the final season now as we call it, until past January. We know it's going to have a sort of mid-season date, well, towards the end of the season for the rest of our shows. So, you know, we'll have to wait and see as to how, like, The Flash and Batwoman is all scheduled if they have about 20 episodes or just under 20 episodes. If they're starting in January, we have to put into account normally the seasons run for about 7 months in the whole year. But then they do have breaks here and then where you don't have episodes, they have a Christmas break and everything like that. So if we account for less breaks for, you know, the Flash and everything, that means maybe, say, it runs for five to six months with very little breaks. Obviously, you can add an extra month if you want to do a few weeks break here and there. But, you know, six months from January, you know, it could end around the time when Supergirl is set to premiere. So we don't know the specific dates right now, but I'm guessing the Flash... Batwoman and all the sort of longer CW shows that are going to be nearer to 20 episodes and start premiering in January, I'm guessing they're going to be ending around June slash July time if we're considering they're going to have less breaks than normal because they do want to finish and they will be finished filming so they can go back to filming even if the show is still premiering its last season. But I think after this year they want to get back to their normal schedule so they'll try and premiere the show's in October as per normal so they'll go back to filming around July slash August in time hopefully for Comic Con if Comic Con's on probably gonna have a video on Comic Con in the next few days because the schedules are all messed up right now but yeah so the Flash should be able to film season 8 which we'll get to in a minute if there will be a season 8 of the Flash and that will be ready for October but now let's move on to talk about Supergirl so Supergirl is set to premiere sometime in the summer sometime around May slash June. That is the time that we've been told we haven't been given a specific date right now. We know Supergirl will be filming around the same time, if not before The Flash, a few days before they start. And Supergirl has been confirmed to have a 20 episode run for its final season. So they're gonna get ahead with filming, but their season isn't going to premiere in January, even though they could do that. But due to current circumstances, I'm guessing they want to delay it more so they have more time to film and so, you know, Melissa can come back and everything is normal. So that is what they're going to do. Melissa just had a child, by the way, that was just officially announced yesterday. So congrats to Melissa. Huxley Robert Wood is the child's name. Super excited for Chris and both Melissa for their child. So, you know, congrats to them. But let's go back on to today's topic. So when Supergirl returns around May slash June time, probably more likely to be June time, so we still got a long time from now because we're in September and, you know, it's going to be many, many months until Supergirl comes back. And with them returning, they're going to actually play through Comic Con, which is interesting. So, you know, when could they, you know, end the show? When is Supergirl Season 6 going to end? When is the final episode going to come? I'm guessing that it could be and if we account for breaks and everything like that, or not having breaks, like I said with The Flash, but I think The Flash is going to have a shorter season than Supergirl this season. Supergirl is having 20 episodes. I'm guessing what is going to happen is Supergirl is going to run for about 6-7 to seven months, probably more likely to be 7 months if they do include any breaks. And what happens if Supergirl doesn't finish until like January? Like, you know, what they did with Arrow, they, you know, went on a break and then they came back in the new year for 2020 to finish Arrow. 
I'm guessing that could be a thing that Supergirl does if it does premiere in June and there are substantial breaks. But if there are no substantial breaks, I'm guessing Supergirl is going to end sometime around November, December time because they are premiering so late and they have so many episodes. It's not like one of those summer CW shows that premiere in June or May and they finish. Oh, kind of like Stargirl, yeah. Stargirl finished a month ago or so, and they premiered in May, I believe, so it wasn't too long, but they had a shorter season. And I don't believe they had any breaks at all. But I think there will be normal breaks because they head into the normal season. So, what happens if Supergirl doesn't finish till 2021, like Arrow did with 2020? I think that would be really interesting, and I would love for them to do that, so they prolong it, and we have Supergirl for the longest amount of time possible. I think that will be really good. People will be really hyped for those final episodes if they go on break over Christmas and then Supergirl returns. So they will be running over Comic-Con. And so a big question around Comic-Con is, will we see the Supergirl cast at San Diego Comic-Con 2021? Because the 2019 Comic-Con was the last Comic-Con they were at. I was actually lucky enough to interview Melissa and the Supergirl cast there, so I'm thankful I got to do that. I was supposed to go to Comic Con this year, but you know, it got cancelled and you know, the Supergirl cast couldn't go. And you know, they didn't even have DC fandom, like, there was no proper panel. So I'm really, really hoping, considering that Supergirl will be running through, you know, the end of July, definitely, when Comic Con is on, I'm hoping that, you know, between, you know, episode, say, four and five or whatever it is between episode three and four they come to comic con they talk about the rest of the season they talk about the final season and they have that panel i think that'll be really cool arrow did something like that at 2019's comic con so yeah considering supergirl will be running through that and into the fall aka the autumn of 2020 i think it would be very fitting and so now let's move on to the second main topic of this video and this is in regards to the flash so, will The Flash Season 7 be the final season of the show? So, this is a question that has come up, considering that Arrow ended with Season 8, they only had 10 episodes that was planned, and Supergirl is officially set to end after this season, Season 6, with 20 episodes, so will The Flash be ending? That is a question that has been going around online, considering two of the main CW Arrowverse shows, when you look at it, it's The Flash, Arrow, and Supergirl that are the main shows. You've got Batwoman, which is just in Season 1. You've got Legends, which just is kind of an ensemble show, and people kind of put that behind the main characters of, like, The Flash, Supergirl, and Arrow. And then you've got also Black Lightning, which is a bit separate from the Arrowverse. They just got brought into the Arrowverse in Crisis. So that's not a main show yet. So those three are outliers. We've got Superman and Lois coming. That's going to be in its first season, so it can't be a main Arrowverse show yet. So what is going to happen to The Flash? Because it's going to be the only big Arrowverse show left. So is The Flash going to be cancelled, or is it going to be ending? Well, 100%, they're not going to cancel The Flash. It's the best rated show on the network. It's the most viewed internationally and domestically in America. And it does absolutely brilliant for the CW. They are in love with that show. They would never throw The Flash away. And so recently in the summer during the quarantine and everything, Grant was actually talking about his contract being up because Grant's contract is up at the end of season 7. That is a fact. So he has the ability to end the show in season 7 at the end of the season if he wants. But Grant in that recent interview, he talks about he wants to stay on The Flash for as long as he can. He talked about renewing for season 8. And 9, he specifically mentioned season 9, so that is at least two more seasons that he's talked about. And he was actually in negotiations before everything happened due to the pandemic. So he was actually preparing to agree to that statement, that contract, and he would continue. So no, The Flash won't be ending, and if Grant wants to end the show, the show will end. Because that's what Stephen Amell did for Arrow, he kind of thought, enough is enough. This has been a good run, let's end it in season 8. And same thing for Melissa, her contract was up for this season, for season 6, and she thought, you know, 6 seasons, this has been a very good run, let's end it here. And so Grant does have that option if he wants. So the thing is, he doesn't want that. So as long as Grant is happy working on the show and continuing spearheading the Arrowverse and going along with these other shows that are one day going to be the big shows of the Arrowverse, 
the Flash is going to continue onwards and you will see him leading the crossovers, you will see him continuing onwards even past Supergirl Season 6 when that eventually ends. So yeah, Grant should be around for a few more seasons at least. I'm guessing they could definitely do Supernatural numbers. I really, really hope so. I don't think the Arrowverse is going to be ending anytime soon. Got about 10 years at least because you got those new shows coming. I don't think The Flash will last 10 years to season 17 because I think by that time the actors will be tired of the show because they'll be doing it for like 17 years, which is absolutely insane. I mean, 7 years is enough, but 17 is a lot. So I kind of feel like The Flash has got at least like two to three more seasons to go. Maybe season 10 might be the final season is my guess. I really hope it continues onwards because, you know, The Flash is my favorite show on the CW along with Supergirl. So yeah, that is about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Hopefully you stick around on the channel, turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos. It really helps out the channel if you watch every single video. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.